So I'm going to create an animation in Photoshop using technique called tweening. Um, what this means is we're going to use Photoshop to create frames in between certain keyframes. Um, so let's see how that's done. First of all, we need a graphical object to animate. It can be a shape in Photoshop. I'm going to use a ball I've copied from the internet. And we're going to create a new file in Photoshop. And I'm going to make that 600 pixels by 400 pixels. And I'm going to give the document a name. I'm going to call it Bouncing Ball. OK. So I'm going to paste that ball. We're going to get rid of that black stuff using the wand tool. Deselect, Control D. And then use the um, move transform tool with the transform controls and move it i'm going to shrink it down a little bit hold the shift key so that it's in proportion and press enter to make it complete and i'm going to put the important thing is that we kind of define the key points the turning points in the animation so what i need to do is i need to create a copy of this frame and then find the next turning point of the animation. So duplicate that frame first. So that's this uh, new duplicate frame key there. And then we're going to move the ball up to another edge of the screen. So now if I shift and click the second frame and the and then so that they're both selected. What I can do is I can press this create tweens button and I can choose how many frames to add. Six is pretty good for that. Click on OK and right off the bat we want to test it. Okay, so that's pretty okay. I'm actually going to make that just once for now. So there we go. <laughs> so Next thing we're going to do is define, is duplicate the frame, and then define the next point. So over on that side, shift and click so that you select both those frames. That distance a little bit further than the first tween, so I'm going to make a few more frames. So let's make that ten frames. Click on OK and test it again. Do it, do it. So far, so good. Duplicate that frame. Move the ball to the next edge. Shift and click the previous frame. So we've got two frames selected. Click between six frames because this is the shorter edge. Click on OK. Test it out. And finally, we're going to return to the original frame. We don't have to guess where the original frame, what the ball was in the original frame. We can actually duplicate that frame. I didn't mean to do that. Select that first frame and duplicate it. And then drag that frame to, to the right to the end. OK. And then shift and click the previous frame. Create that tween, six frames. OK, and test that out. It's a little bit past that last one. That should have actually been um, nine frames, ten frames. I'm going to actually bin those frames I created. Recreate that tween. This time with 10 frames, and there we go. Click on play. And there we go, nice. And then we can make that a looping animation. And we can export that as a GIF. Save for web and devices. GIF, save. Let's 
not bouncing ball already. And you know you can test that out on a web browser. And that's tweening in Photoshop. 